welcome back everybody. We are back to play some Data to Freeland. And it's getting down to nitty gritty. Let me show you what's going on with the time of the game. Uh, back over here. Uh, my opponent's just moved the uh, marker from April to May. It means he has two attacks left to the end of the game to control all of Prussia, Hanover, and Saxony. And I get you a little caught up here. I got it zoomed in. Uh, he moved some troops up. This is all finished movement, what you're seeing here on the map. Uh, right now, he is going to move. Oh, he's moving laneys. And that's why I wanted to turn on the record and record what's going on because you can see I pulled out of Warsaw, pulled my troops up to here. Kongsberg and Danzig are going to be keys for me. Now I'm going to see if he moves into the city here on this turn. I expect him to capture Danzig. But uh, one thing he's told me when he. Uh, emailed me as if there were no combats and I don't know whether that's a bullshit story because <laughs> I told him on my last one that I was going to attack Warsaw and I totally abandoned Warsaw and went up here so I just kind of faked him out but uh, we'll see what happens if he stays true to his email but uh, I expect him to take Danzig now one of the things that I want to point out is I'm going to ship my one of these uh, I'm going to ship both of these units here off from Kongsberg to Copenhagen I can move my cavalry one two three four Force march them two, one, two, and I'll just be one uh, hex away from Hanover. If he moves this leader here out of the way, there ain't nobody here but one strength point. He moves this guy out of the way back east. That was my only threat. And now I'm going through the vlog that he sent me, doing his moves, and so far he's moved lanes one hex on over. So I, I guess he's going to go ahead and move him east. So let's go ahead and see what happens now, as it happens, live. Alright, but anyway, um, I won't be able to move. I got these guys entrenched. And you can see all my other uh, disposition of forces. But uh, let's go ahead. This will be key to see if I can go ahead with my plan. Like I said, he's only got, uh, we're down to the last two moves. So. Uh, he's going to go ahead and move Laney's on over. Force march of one more to K34. Now the thing of it is, it's it's not winter time, and we're not in Russia or Spain. Russia's real cold. Spain's really hot and dry, I guess. So he don't get any modifier. So when he attempts a force march of one movement point, he usually gets it automatically. I mean, there's usually no reason not to. So usually, if you're a French player, and it's uh, any time in spring or summer, and you want to force march one, it's almost a given. So that's one thing to remember in this game. Yeah, of course, you're also one. <laughs> the guy's heads, he gets such good die roll modifier or die rolls that when he does roll, you're the one who has to apologize. <laughs> I'm kind of like, all right, dude, we know you're lucky, so hang in there. All right. He's going to lean one player there. One infantry is going to lean down. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's go back here. He was only four smarts for one, wasn't he? It's a one for one force march to, let me see, yeah, force march to KK34, so that's one, he's got uh, two units with him, so let's see what's going on here, roll one, move everybody, left back is fortress marker, he'll go one more, that's fine, then he moved two, wait, hold on, force march one and then two. Well, hold on, he rolled a one, so. Huh. Alright, I mean, I don't, he'll, get, he'll get there with two, but he should have announced it first if he was only for the force march of two hexes. Yeah. That don't make sense. I'm going to have to stop the video here, and uh, we'll be back. Uh, got a little rules and fraction. And we'll let you know how it came out. 